Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add your product onto Amazon FBA. So by now you should have already signed up for an account with Amazon FBA, gone through that, those steps that I showed you. So then the next thing is to add your product. So let's go do that right now. So as soon as you finish that at tax interview, it's going to take you to this screen right here that says add a product. Now it's asking you uh, to put in the name of your product and to see if it's already on Amazon. Now our product is not gonna be on Amazon yet because we have a brand new product with a brand new name that Amazon has never seen the likes of before, right? Because we created this, this is our own unique product. So what I want you to do is click the button that says create a new product, click this. All right, so now it's asking us to classify our product. So what you can do is go to this search box, search for your products category. We could type in the word supplement. We could type in the word weight loss. You saw that right in here. So supplement, weight loss, uh, diet, and, and see what kind of categories come up. And then just click the find category. And if we find the winner, then we go with that. Um, otherwise, what you, what you guys can do, do you see down here with the big list, browse for your products category? So you could try um, just going through this list to try to figure out which one of these categories closely matches what you're doing. And if you're not quite sure, here's a little pro tip that I can share with you. So in our case, we're doing supplements, right? So if you're not exactly sure what category to put this in, well, why not go over to Amazon, then do a search for you know your product so uh, for my, my example, I'll do like Garcinia Cambogia. And I would look to see what the uh, top Garcinia Cambogia products are. And let's say I, I, find the, I find some pills. And then what I do is I go to that product on Amazon. So do you see right here? Nature Wise Garcinia Cambogia. And as you can see, they got 5,291 customer reviews. So obviously, uh, they're making lots of sales. So they're, they're, not, they're doing something right, right? Uh, then what we're going to do, let's uh, go down to the bottom here. And I want to show you something down here, right here. So do you see underneath where it says Amazon bestseller rank? Right there. So this is showing us what categories it's in. Health and personal care, right? So now we know that's the category it should go underneath. And vitamins and dietary supplements, weight loss, and then supplements. See that? So that's the category right there. So health and personal care, vitamins and dietary supplements, weight loss and supplements. So there we go. So then what we're going to do is let's, uh, we could just go down that list and go to it health and personal care, and then we'd want to look for vitamins and dietary supplements, etc. Now, I will say this, right now, the uh, you know supplement category is not coming up, and that is because I'm still waiting to get my account approved and verified, and then once you start adding in some products and get things all set up, uh, you should be able to put it in the right category. But for now, just to keep moving forward, uh, let's just grab one of these things, how about personal care? and we'll just say scented oils and let's just click select so that we can move on but a nice thing is we can always change this later right so first thing here this thing is asking us for our information now the good news is you actually don't have to fill out all this stuff i know you're looking at this and it might seem a little overwhelming oh my goodness but really the only thing you got to put in here is the stuff that has the asterisk by it now, that's the main things that you got to put in. Uh, all these other things are really optional, kind of like the size or the color. We don't got to put anything for that. But, uh, you know, and again, you can always go back and add this stuff later and, uh, and adjust it. But for now, let's go ahead and put the product name right here. All right. So first, the product name. You see that right here? So the product name, this is the title that's going to come up on Amazon when people search. Right, so this is really, really important. This is how they find our product. This is what's gonna make them wanna click on it and ultimately buy it. Now, you've got a total of 250 characters that you can use, and I would encourage you to really stack this and you know try to fill it if you can. The more, you know, and, and ideally with words that matter. So find out what the biggest benefits are for your product, what people really want, what's really important to them, and put that info in here. Now, we're going to talk more a little bit later about coming up with really great product names and titles and all that good stuff, but 
Uh, I, I just wanted to mention that now. It's really important to load it. So here's something I just came up with. Garcinia Cambogia Pure Extract. 1,600 milligrams with 65% HCA extract. All natural weight loss supplement. And then I said made in the USA. And it's a 30-day supply. So you see how that thing is really packed and loaded? And again, you guys, if you're running out of ideas and you're not sure what to put in here, you should go to Amazon and look at the top selling products and get ideas from them. You know, figure out what's already working and come up with your own off of that. All right. So now where it says package quantity. So for and actually it's telling me to make some slight little changes. So I'm just gonna hit the change all button. And there we go. So package quantity. So this really doesn't matter, uh, especially when you're using the FBA, the fulfillment by Amazon. This is really if you're handling the shipping and, and you're sending the stuff out yourself, which we're not doing. But if that's the case, then you would you know write down how, how much uh, quantity you have, like say 50 bottles. Now the nice thing is, since Amazon is gonna be the one who's handling this for me, I could just put whatever number in here I want, you know, because uh, Amazon will track it and they'll know that how many bottles I got, and you know, if I if they sell out of the bottles, then they'll then they'll uh, shut the offer uh, down so people can't buy it, and then tell me I need to uh, buy more. So you know what? For now, let's just put in something like twenty five. Works for me. Next is the manufacturer, the full name of the publisher who issued the product. In this case, this would be your product's name. So we would do something like Blue Valley Supplements, right? And then let's go down here where it says brand name. So this is also, you could put down Blue Valley Supplements. And then let's go down. Do you see where it says EAN or UPC? So this is important. Now, in order to sell things through Amazon FBA, you are going to need to have UPC codes on the back of your product. So a UPC code is that little barcode. Uh, let me just go to Google so I can show you exactly what one is, so that way you know. These barcodes that are on the back of each label. So what you're going to need to do before you send stuff out to Amazon is you actually need to come up with your UPC codes. And you're gonna, and once you have it, your own UPC code, you give it to your manufacturer the person who makes the uh, supplements, in my case, private label Nutra, and you know, and they're gonna put that label on the back of every bottle. You're gonna want to you're gonna want to do this before you you know create 50 different bottles of your product, because in order for Amazon to uh, to uh, sell things, they need this barcode. This is gonna help them track things and uh, and stock it and warehouse it and do all that stuff. Other, because seriously, Amazon sells millions and millions of products, so they need to know uh, what product is from who and where it's going out to, and, and you know, and all that kind of stuff. So, where do you get a UPC code? So, very, very simple. Let me show you. So, the website I use for my UPC barcodes is this website right here. It's called cheapupcbarcode.com. CheapUPCBarcode.com, and there's hyphens in between that, so it's cheap-upc-barcode.com. So this this website will create a barcode for you that you can use. Now, just to be clear here, uh, you only need a barcode for each for each individual kind of product that you're selling. So let's say, for example, if I want to sell a hundred of my uh, you know, Garcinia Cambogia supplements, I don't need to create a hundred different barcodes. And so it's not like every single bottle needs a unique barcode. What I, what I would do for that is I'll just create one UPC barcode that I would then use for all of those products, right? So another example is let's say I'm selling Garcinia Cambogia, Acai Berry, and a colon cleanse product. Right, and let's say I'm selling thousands of each of those. Right, all I would need is I would just need three barcodes. I need a barcode for Garcinia Cambogia, a barcode for the Colon Cleanse, and a separate barcode for the Acai Berry. Does that make sense? 
So yeah, so that's what I'm saying is it's really, really cheap. It's not, doesn't cost that much money at all. Now at this website, they got a little option here for a free barcode or they'll let you try to generate your own barcode down below. You know, you type in digits. Now this is not, these free barcodes, this is just for like novelty purposes. You can't legally use these barcode on Amazon, all right? If you wanna use or get a real barcode that Amazon's going to accept, well, then what you want to do is you see the picture on the right with the tomato. Uh, go to this big button here. It says buy now. All right. And then what you can do is you could just buy your barcode right here. And like I said, I it, it's real cheap. You can get it for as cheap as one dot for one dollar ninety nine cents. I think that's it if you buy a whole bunch of barcodes at once. Otherwise, for us, all what we would need to do is let's just start out with 10 barcodes since that's the lowest that they're selling here. And that would cost us $19. And then literally we could just use uh, use these barcodes for the next 10 different items that we do and we would be set. So again, what you would do is sign up for this and uh, you know sign up for this and purchase. And then what's going to happen is they will email you a barcode. They're going to give you the number for it and they'll give you a, 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 a PDF and some graphics for it. And it will be a graphic that looks like right here, all right? So what you're gonna wanna do once you get this graphic from them is you then send this over to your manufacturer. In my case, I would send that over to private label Nutra and tell them to slap that on my label or slap that onto my bottle. Or I would tell the graphic designer to do that if he's got like a really cool, uh, you know, a really cool graphic he made. He made. I tell the graphic designer, "Hey, put this label on my uh, my bottle or on the design for the bottle that you created." And then I would give that to the manufacturer. And uh, then when they create, you know, uh, when when they make fifty bottles of my supplement for me, this is already going to be on the back of it. And then they ship it out to Amazon, right? So hopefully you're you're following that. You basically, just to recap, make sure we're all on the same page here in the order of how things go. First, what you're going to want to do is feel free to contact your the private label Nutra or whatever manufacturer you use. Get them to send you a few test bottles. Uh, you know, So I'd, I'd order like maybe two bottles, three, four, five. Get that sent to my house. See how I like it. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to send a lot more bottles like say 2550 to Amazon. But before I send it to Amazon, I want to make sure that this barcode is on those diet pills. So I could either give that to my graphic designer, have him put it on the label, and then I give that label to my uh, t to the manufacturer, Private Label Nutra, or I just send this over to Private Label Nutra and see if they can slap it on before they make all my bottles, right? So hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, so there it is. You would get a barcode just like this. And then as soon as you get your barcode, go ahead and go back over to Amazon where it's got the EAN or EPC number right here. All right. So check this out just to make this super easy to follow. I just ordered 10 more barcodes and this is showing me the barcode right here. This is showing me the first one. So I'm just going to copy this and I can download the zip file right here. So I'm just going to click that and download the zip file. And uh, that's gonna have all the pictures that I'm gonna wanna send over to private label Nutra or send over to my graphics guy to slap it on the back, okay? So there it is, that's how you get the barcodes and um, that takes care of that. Uh, by the way, s since we're talking barcodes, there's um, two other websites you can check out, speedybarcodes.com, that's this website right here, speedybarcodes.com. And one other one is this one. It's called instantupccodes.com. Instantupccodes.com. Uh, they've all got pretty competitive, pretty similar prices. But I just thought I would mention them just in case one of those websites go down on you. So now you got three different options. So now that we got that barcode, let's go back over to add a product. And I'm just going to put that in right here. Paste that barcode in. And now that we put that in, let's go ahead and click on next, All right? And as you can see, it just jumped to the next tab at the, at the uh, top. So you see we got vital info, offer, images, description, all these different tabs. Well, that's what we're gonna talk about. But uh, for now, let's just go to where it says offer. That's where we're at now. 
It's got the little asterisk by it. And for now, let's just go and do the mandatory ones here. Condition, well, our item is brand new, so we're going to put new. But if it's used, you would put used, right? All right, so next we've got your price and the sale price. So for the year price, this is gonna we're gonna put down the full price of what we should sell our Garcinia Cambogia for. And then on Amazon, we're gonna tell it that, hey, right now we're gonna be running a special where they can get a discount. So this is gonna give us a little boost and it's gonna put more urgency and, and make it look much more enticing because it'll make them feel like they're getting a huge discount for buying it through Amazon. So for example, let's say that our price for this thing is that we normally sell this for $59.95. And my sale price, let's say right now the sale price is $29.95. All right, and sale start date. Well, I uh, just try to put this out as long as you can. I mean, I typically do for something like, you know, two or three months. So you could start this at the current date, wherever you're at. And then uh, just do end price, you know, as far as you can go, which I believe is three months. So we'll go all the way three months from now and we'll pick that date. There you go. And where it says quantity, like how many we're running on the special, uh, you know, we could just put the full however many bottles we're sending over to them. So, you know, what it say like 50 or something. But again, you can always go back and change this to a higher number. It doesn't really matter there. So let's go down here. All right, now depending on where your product is made, you would then go to import designation and I could say mine is made in USA, right? If it's not made in USA, then don't say it's made in USA. You can say imported, but that's fine. Now, um, you know, country of publication, uh, it's the United States. Now, this is the big thing though I did wanna point out, shipping method right there. So this is asking us, do we want to ship out the item or do we want Amazon to ship out the item for us? We want Amazon to ship out the item for us. We're going to be using the FBA, right? So go down right here to say, I want Amazon to ship and provide customer service for my items if they sell. There it is. So now what I want you to do is uh, underneath it, it's got remember the setting for next time. So that's great. And then you can go ahead and click on next. All right, so now that we've done all the mandatory stuff, uh, what I want you to do now is go ahead and click the save and finish button. And we'll talk more about the images, description, keywords, and all that other stuff. But uh, that takes care of what we're gonna cover for now. So go ahead to the bottom and click on save and finish. And there you go. That will take you to this screen.